I was busy with developing a tester for MOSFETs and field effect transistors and I was not very successfully up until now. My aim was to make a circuit in which the MOSFET is inserted and then starts to oscillate. When it oscillates it's easy to detect the oscillation and then you can uh, see that the MOSFET is healthy. Um, again I found that the MOSFET is a very peculiar piece of uh, semiconductor material. I had already examined this in the past. Here is the schematic from an N MOSFET and the most important thing is that the MOSFET acts substantially to a static charge on the gate. When a, the right charge is applied here, positive in the case of an NFET, a current will start to flow here between the drain and the source. Of course the electrons flow from the negative to the positive. That's important to um, know here because I found um, a strange effect. That can be declared only when we assume that the electrons flow from the negative to the positive. I tested the BUZ80, IRF BC20, all MOSFETs, and you will see them here. And this was the MOSFET that I wanted to test first, IRF Z46N. And I use for this case the normal ohms meter, that's this ohms meter made in Japan. It has two um, 1.5 volts batteries in it and it measures the ohms resistance uh, with this 3 volts, two uh, batteries in series. So <coughs> in fact this is how the meter works, positive from the battery, negative from the battery, a resistor somewhere here. And when there's here a shortcut or a resistance, <coughs> the pointer from the meter swings to the to a certain value, and that indicates the resistance in the circuit. So here we have a positive, and here we have a negative, and that's also visible here. The probes from the meter. This is my positive. Sorry, this is my negative lead. I've marked it with black negative, and this is my positive lead. So I added to the electrodes from the MOSFET here, from the left to the right, the gate, the drain, and the source, my meter, and I found these values positive to the gate, negative to the drain, and less resistance reversed and less resistance. Positive to the gate, negative to the source, an endless resistance. And when you don't find an endless resistance, uh, you can almost be sure that your MOSFET is dead. Negative to the gate, positive to the source, and less resistance. Uh, positive to the gate, negative to the source, 500 ohms, and that's normal. And here came a very uh, peculiar phenomenon when I measured it. When you connect the negative from the meter to the drain and the positive to the source, you will uh, see an endless resistance on the meter. I cannot demonstrate it now because I need two hands to make this video. An endless resistance when you uh, measure between the drain and the source. But when you tip at first the gate here with the negative lead from the meter and then measure between the drain and the source, you will find a resistance. And that means that uh, by using the ohmmeter in this way, you put charge, a positive charge, into the gate, a certain amount of charge from the batteries, from the meter, is inserted to the gate and now a current starts to flow, or in other words, a, a 
current doesn't start to flow, but there is a, uh, a low resistance here. When the gate is charged, there is a low resistance here, and you can take away the charge from uh, the MOSFET by making your finger wet between the gate, the drain and the source. Make your finger wet, put it on the contacts, all the charge flows away, and when you do the measurement again, after you've done that, you will see that there is again an endless resistance between the drain and the source. So the charge is flowed away and here is an isolation, but when this is charged there's no isolation here. And that's one of the properties from the MOSFET. And you can of course repeat this whole trick, tip the gate again with a negative lead from your probe from your meter and you will again see that there's a low resistance here. Take the charge away with a wet finger and the resistance gets high here. And this is the final result, negative to the gate, positive to the source, endless is normal. So I uh, tested this with three MOSFETs, so I think it's a reproducible, reproductible uh, way of measuring the properties from the MOSFET.